So if you're out on the road and you haven't checked this in a while, you aren't going anywhere. If your travel trailer or your teardrop camper came with an underframe RV spare tire mount, you could end up with some big unforeseen problems as you're about to see. This all started when my husband thought it would be a good idea to move our spare tire from underneath our camper to a hitch mount. So it would be easier to access if we ever needed to use it. Then this happened. Not coming off. So if you're out on the road and you haven't checked this in a while, you aren't going anywhere. Trying to do it manually. Oh, I'm going to end up slamming my elbow into something. Loose fast, loose and faster. Thank you for getting that. Perfect for drips of oil. <laughs> As I was watching Tom try to get the tire off, I kept thinking to myself, I can't imagine what this situation would have been like if we were on the side of a freeway or a road. Ooh, that stinks. 15 minutes later. Shoot, they're still not coming off. There you, there you go. go. You got it. You got it. Another thing we're going to buy then, too. Extended wrench. So you need the extended wrench. Well, it makes it a lot easier. Still not off, though. Let's try this back on there. Oh, you got it. You needed a lot of muscle to do that. Yeah, that was an ordeal. There was a 33.9, you want to get a 50 PSI. Okay, so you have that preset. Preset right here. And then you just turn it on. Regardless of where you keep your spare tire, you should always, always, always have an air pump with you because your tire is going to lose air and you're going to need to refill it. Many days later, now that we finally got our spare tire removed, we can install our spare tire mount. The mount didn't come with the bolts and the nuts and the washers that we needed, so these were the ones that we purchased. Okay, they're half inch round by two inches. It also didn't come with a hitch pin, so we had to buy one of those two. I'll leave a link to the tire mount that we bought and all of the other things we needed for this installation in the video description below in case you want to buy them on Amazon. As you can see, installing this mount was really easy. Voila, now we just have to attach the tire. Okay, it's got that square neck on it, so it can't turn. Attaching the tire wasn't hard, but it was definitely easier with two people. So we've got that one put in. Now we've got to align the other holes. We used a flat washer and then a lock washer to help prevent the nut from loosening. Boy, I hope we never have to use our spare tire, but if we do, now it's gonna be so much easier to access it.